Well, I don't know if you saw the video I made a few weeks back where I showed the Unity Reflect link between Autodesk Inventor and augmented and virtual reality. Mate, it's awesome. Honestly, check the video out. In a nutshell, right, you're a, you're a designer or an engineer sat in CAD. You can then send out your CAD session into virtual or augmented reality. And then the viewer can see any live changes you make in CAD on a tablet or in a virtual reality headset. It's absolutely amazing. Check out the video. Once I made that, the, the guys from Unity, or one of them got in touch with him, he was like, it's good, isn't it? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, well, you want to see what else we're doing? I was like, oh, do tell me more. So he sent me over some links to some other stuff that they're getting up to. And I was like, hey, man, this is awesome. What is, what's going on over there? Unity are killing it. In fact, everyone's killing it at the moment. And uh, I thought, right, I need to show this. This is amazing. I don't have the ability to show the entire workflow from like conception, starting from scratch all the way through to actually delivering it, but I can show you the end deliverable of this. This is called Furious, F-U-R-I-O-O-S. It's Unity's internet streaming service for deliverables. Uh, and the idea is you import data, geometry, and you build a scene in Unity. And instead of then compiling that into an executable, which you would either, I don't know, email out or put on a CD or a CD or a boomer or on a USB stick or whatever, you can then host your scene on a server and stream it over the internet to an end user, embedded into a website. Uh, and it, it's, it's amazing. Let's take a look at it. So this is the Furious main website. It's probably important to note that uh, if apparently Furious can upload any executables, not just Unity projects. Uh, I'm sure I'd get, a, I'd get a Furious email from Unity if I hadn't mentioned that. But yeah, it can upload even Unreal Engine scenes and stream those. So stream any 3D project anywhere, anytime on any device, which sounds incredibly powerful. So um, yeah, I've got some sample scenes. I'd love to get the opportunity to start actually uploading my own stuff into this to see what it can actually do and what it can handle. But yeah, it's uh, it looks extremely powerful. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at one example that I've got here. So this one will be right up the alley of a lot of people that watch my stuff. This is a point cloud scan, which has been imported into Unity. Uh, I would suspect the scene's been prepped. Uh, and then you can walk around and then interact with your point cloud scene. So yeah, using WASD, I can, I can now walk. This is all streamed from the internet, by the way. This is just this is just punching in a web address. There's nothing installed on my local computer, so I can now walk around this point cloud scan. It's just like what's what's going on? It's absolutely crackers. So you can use a gamepad. I'm using WASD in the mouse, which is is not the best if I'm honest. Like uh, I'd have probably been better off putting in a, a game controller. So it's not too bad actually. Uh, once you get whoa. All right, PewDiePie. Jesus Christ. Fright of my life there. Okay, so we've, we've, I had no idea. Wow. I had no idea that was going to happen. <laughs> I've got rocks being chucked at me. And exploding pipes. Okay. Okay, well, I feel like I need to run for the exit, but the exit is, is, is a drop into Middle Earth or into the nether. Yeah, I'm not going to be jumping out that door, I'm afraid. I'd rather burn a fiery death uh, or die of smoke inhalation before I jump out of that door. If it's all the same to you. But yeah, so this is one use case of the Furious engine. Uh, taking, this, taking a point cloud scan, building a scene in Unity, and then uploading it into here and streaming it out. Uh, you've got a number of settings at the bottom, see if I can turn the audio off. Or turn it down a bit. Uh, it's not being pushed through the... Uh, the streaming software, but it might come through the speakers. Uh, yeah, you've got a number of settings along the bottom, so you can control the quality. Uh, so I'm currently streaming it at ultra, but you can down uh, downscale the quality if you want to. So you've got medium, uh, high or low. Uh, you can, uh, is, this, is this just statistics? Sure. Uh, which server we're being streamed from? Uh, network bandwidth, CPU statistics, and duration, sure. Uh, I'll restart the whole scene. Gamepad settings, so those are your controls. So, yeah, I mean, you don't forget Unity is a game engine. So what you can do in a this is this is how I always kind of sell uh, doing stuff inside a, a video game engine for for professional uses. Whatever you can do inside a video game, you can then apply that to professional workflow. Whether it be anything simulator based, 
and making your product do what your product needs to do. It sounds impossible because you tend to not be able to do that in CAD, but in a video game, you can make anything happen, really. And that's kind of the case here. So, so yeah, uh, limited in what I can do here. I'm just walking around in circles. Uh, but yeah, oh, look, I've even got legs. <laughs> okay, so on to the next scene. So this is an apartment, uh, a very nice looking apartment. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing too bad if you lived in this one, mate. And it, I think this is more of a, it's more pitched at possibly commercial or retail sales, possibly. Uh, like new build, apartment configurators, maybe. I don't know. Anything interior design based, uh, configurator sales. Because not only can you kind of navigate around here. So this is, this is a Unity scene, I assume, unless it's an Unreal Engine. No, this is an Unreal Engine scene, which has been uploaded to the Furious Engine. Okay. So the Unreal Engine scene has been up uploaded into Furious. And you, sure, you can walk around it. You can navigate around it. And it looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the lens flare on that. That's absolutely stunning. Don't forget, this is streamed over Google Chrome. This ain't half bad at all. But we also have interactable features. By right-clicking on the floor, I can change how the apartment looks, certain aspects. I mean, that looks pretty nice, that like. And you can, I assume, offer this as a service to someone to configure their own house, to configure their own in this case, house, but, you know, name your poison. This could be a vehicle. This could be a car, a, a, a tractor, uh, whatever you want, you know. Uh, we've got different worktop styles. Uh, this, I don't seem to be able to see a way of knowing what I can and can't click on. Uh, it is just a demo scene after all, but, but yeah, it's, um, it, it's, it's amazing. Given that there's nothing to install locally, and it's all streamed. The quality is insane. What we can do here. And then we've got two options here, by the looks of it, forest and apartment. Uh, let's jump into forest. All right, that's taking me outside. This looks pretty, I mean, that, oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. I don't know if there's anything, can, oh, okay, I can configure the, the cushion colors. I just feel like right click spamming everywhere to see what I can change. This is absolutely beautiful. I like the little water feature there. So, um, yeah, like... Okay, we can change the stone material on the ground. Yeah, uh, residential sales, make your configurators here. Yeah. Can, can you imagine the possibilities of this? Embed this into your website, stream this online and then offer this as a configurator. Just just walk around the new build, right click on what on what bathroom suite you want, on what sofa you want in your new build, what garage door you want, and then at the end of it all, just hit a button and say, that's the configuration that I want for my new build, and then it'll get sent away uh, to the to the builder. So yeah, this, this one's just as exciting and just as powerful. So this one I feel is possibly more of a VR or a, an AR slash tablet touch experience, given that there's a little icon up at the top left with a finger saying, hey, you need to touch stuff and things might happen. I don't know. But wow, the visuals on this one are incredible. I mean, look at this. How is this even, how is this even streamed, mate? And is that rain? Is that rain that I can hear? It is, oh my God. That's incredible. This is insane. It's a cramped apartment, man. <laughs> I'd be a bit claustrophobic in here, but hey, someone's got decent interior design taste. The textures are insane. These are some there's some high def textures going on in here. Can I face plant a wall and let's just let's go up to here. Yeah, that's crispy. Go right up against the wall. Yeah, look at that man. You can even see that he's got Shiny, sharp bump maps going on, normal maps going on in there. Uh, can I press shift to go faster? I can indeed. Oh, mate, look at the table. Look at the tabletop. Oh, this is amazing. So comparisons are inevitably going to be drawn between this and the likes of Enscape, which is a visualization plugin for Revit. But I feel like these are very much pitched at different markets. Enscape is a, it's like a real-time project visualization check for Revit rather than this, which is a an end point customer presentation tool. 
uh, very much two different things. Enscape is also beautiful. You can get some amazing visualizations out of Enscape, uh, real-time RTX-based, uh, which is all powered on the local PC. I don't think Enscape has a streaming service. Uh, I think I'm too fat to fit through this door. <laughs> it's not letting me through there unless that's a no-go area. I want to, but I want to be in there. I'm tired and sleepy. I want to go to bed. <laughs> Why is it not letting me in there? Oh, okay, it's a no-go area. Uh, the bathroom. Nope. But I'm desperate. No, I'm still not letting me in there. Oh, but wow. What a scene this one is. What a scene. Look at the fabric, mate. Unity here, just nailing it. So, one iros is ah one iros we are to apologize if i'm butchering the pronunciation but they are a third party uh, partner i believe to unity and this must be a scene that they've uh developed and put together and what a job they've done this is unbelievable well done so yeah wow all right and then we've got this one here which is i believe this may be a navisworks export to furious which is showing like a real-time live project plan uh so it's animating the life span of a construction project so we've got kind of animations as the project's being delivered with a date as to when things should be done uh, I, I can't really elaborate much more on that i'm not all that invested in navisworks but uh, Navisworks does have a project planner where you can schedule out a construction project, put in some sort of project plan, milestones, that kind of thing. And I can only assume that this is what is going on. Uh, I need to get back up onto Terraformer. There we go. Uh, so we've got... I mean, this is, the motion blur is real with this one. Like, <laughs> this is really blurry as we're spinning around, but there's a lot going on here. Uh, so we've got the envelope getting put in. Someone spelled envelope wrong. Never mind, it is just a demo. Uh, but yeah, that's like... Can you imagine this? You want to present to a to your client the project plan, and instead of it just being like an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint, you're just like, no, nah, mate, click this link. There's your project plan. Check that out. And the, can you imagine the reaction you'd get from that? Wow. Mental. So we've even got, we've got cars whizzing past, we've got dudes walking past and dudettes, and that looks like an Evo Lancer over there. Uh, uh, yeah, that's speeding, mate, you slow down, there's pedestrians around. So yeah, this is Unity Furious at its best. Okay, someone's in trouble. Uh, there's, a, there's an alarming amount of emergency services vehicles in this scene. I don't know what's going on around here, but we've got police cars and ambulances screaming past, something's going on. Uh, there's an emergency going on somewhere. But yeah, total concrete ports. We've obviously got project stats in here as well. We can have that. The timeline slider up the top. Uh, playback buttons. And all within a clickable link. You want to start again? Just refresh the page and off you go, mate. Wow. So this is the final thing that I wanted to show. This is Interact. It's a plugin for, for Unity, which allows you to interact with uh, point cloud data. And it allows you to kind of chop up and splice objects and turn them into interactable entities within a unity scene and i guess virtual reality as well uh, and when you're watching this it might seem a bit daunting to to think how am i going to go from now where i haven't even maybe haven't even used unity to get to this uh, but don't forget unity has an insane amount of learning resources online so it's not going to be that difficult to get to where you, you want to be so extended reality at your fingertips this is just a video this is not me doing it but so we've got I've only watched this once before, so I'm, I'm kind of commentating over this like I know exactly what's going on. But this is a point cloud scene, and I think a lot of the objects in here have already been kind of chopped into interactable objects. So we've got like a, a jack there with a crate on it. So you can see that's an interactable object. Uh, we've got various pipes and fittings and valves and whatnot, uh, which have been converted into interactable objects. And I think after the, the scene's kind of been set up, so there's like a flange there. He said flange. There's a flange there, which is turned into a, an interactable object. That then becomes part of, uh, I think, a, like a training exercise where you can say, right, here's a VR scene. Your objective as part of the VR scene is to enter VR and then fix this scenario. And that requires you to take that flange and then put it where it should be, for example. So here we are in VR. Not me, whoever made up the scene. 
Uh, there's your VR hands. And then all of these objects have been, I guess, created with Interact. So you've got the teleport jumping around. Don't forget, this is this is all point cloud data. This is all used. I think it was scanned using Faro uh, point cloud scanners. Uh, I'm not again. I'm not a master of uh, in any way experience with Faro point cloud scanners or any point cloud scanners. But yeah, your point cloud data can be interactable with either other chopped up, sliced point cloud data or regular CAD geometry and you can see things kind of snapping to point cloud points and if you're watching this and this is of use to you I'm again I kind of always say this but you can probably translate what you do into what you're seeing here and then figure out whether you'd have a use for this but I, I can personally myself see all kinds of uses for this it's just mental man what all kinds of uses for it so unity killing it plant interactive point cloud data you even got a little feedback ticks there to say yep you've done it right so you can see that pipe there was snapped into where it should have been scenario completed little feedback snips as you go so that's about it mate i just wanted to show you that because i got sent the links and it was right at my street thought that was hugely interesting so i thought you might be interested in seeing it too just more just to be aware of what's going on that's live now you can actually use that now if you want to be involved with it and check it out so i'll put a link in the description to the furious website if you want to go and check it out uh, i'm sure there'll be methods there for getting in contact with unity staff if you want to strike up a conversation and ask how to get involved with it what's it all about how do we start using it so yeah links in the description uh, and that's pretty much all i've got mate thanks very much and i'll see you in the next one Doo -doo.